As wildfires continue to burn, scientists throughout the state are looking into the connections between these events and climate change. Yeah, ABC 7 News reporter Luce Pena spoke with several experts who uh, confirmed the global temperature is affecting what we're seeing these days. Luce? That's right, Dan. We're seeing the temperature change globally. And Berkeley's Earth Global Temperature Report found that last year was the hottest year on record since 1850. And May of this year was the hottest May also on record. Now, scientists are working on ways to mitigate this. One professor is looking into plants. Extreme heat continues to be a reason of concern for scientists. Northern California, we're seeing really high temperatures in places like the Central Valley. And in parts of the Eastern Bay Area, temperatures are rising year after year. And so this is in parts of the Coastal Bay Area, it might be less perceptible. But in the eastern parts of the Bay Area, in the valleys, the heat is going to have multiple effects. Ten of the largest California wildfires have occurred in the last 20 years. In 2023, research by the National Integrated Drought Information System found a connection between record-breaking California wildfires and climate change. It showed that summer burned areas in northern and central California have increased fivefold during 1996 to 2021 compared to 1971 to 1995. Over the last 40 years or so, we've seen it warm by about 1.5 degrees Celsius. In terms of Fahrenheit, it's almost double that. So let's, let's say three degrees Fahrenheit warming. That's just average on the whole year. UC Berkeley professor Dennis Baldocki is studying plants and ecosystem and climate interactions. It's clearly uh, the carbon dioxide uh, that we've increased in our atmosphere through our combustion of fossil fuel. Despite the latest wildfires in Northern California, Cal State East Bay Assistant Professor Tony Marks Block says the ocean is helping the Bay Area get some relief. We have the ocean that is moderating the effects of climate change to a great deal because it's a heat sink and it's also cools the Bay Area with, with fog. Professor Baldocki is working with the state to restore wetlands and offset sea levels rising. Wetland plants, when they die, they uh, get buried underneath the water column and there's no oxygen there. And that organic plant matter will slowly turn into peat, peat soil. And that can remove carbon from the atmosphere thousands of years. Heat waves are also becoming more frequent, more intense, and lasting longer. Scientists point to human-amplified climate change. Luz Peña, ABC7 News. All right.